Let us pray. Father Lord in heaven, we thank you Lord. We give you praise, we give you glory. We thank you for what you are doing for our days. Jesus, I worship you, I love you. Take all the honor, take all the glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. My name is Mrs. Linda Porrika. I'm here to share with you a wonderful revelation the Lord gave me in the 3rd of September 2014. In my dream, I was running for my life as if they made an announcement that I'm wanted. So I was running up and down different country. So I even go to my husband, Pastor Porrika, and that is I should go and seek ID because the thing was a way that even you cannot understand. So I went to Amer I I flew to America to my sister and Lillian and she told me that the only way that they will not be able to arrest you is to go and join the military. I said, okay, it's a good thing because if I join the military, they will not be able to arrest me because they will be afraid of me. So I went to the military headquarters to register my name. So I was there again. Some people were watching me and they started running again after me as if they make an announcement that anybody that see me hand over me to them you will give them money. So I was feeling uncomfortable. So during this time I was running now, I start crying and say, God, what have I done? And why they wanted to see me, they wanted to arrest me, is a report from Satan himself that said they should capture me. So I was running, I was crying, and it's because of this revelation that Satan said he cannot take it anymore, that they should arrest me so that when he finished with me, everything will just die like this. So I was running. So I went to a place like this place I can remember is like when we are in Hamburg in Germany for a shopping mall. So I saw myself there and I saw a little boy who would be the age of one year. And this boy was prophesying, was talking mystery. And I was saying, ha, huh? this boy is just saying, he said Jesus took him to heaven and hell and he was standing there with the mother. And the mother was telling people, give your life to Christ, see my son. So Jesus, Jesus took him to heaven and hell. So I was standing there listening to them. So after the boy had started to say all what Jesus told him, and I said, Jesus is wonderful. This boy, I don't even know how to, to speak. See the way he, he's using the boy to say something that is necessary. So I was admiring them, and later now, I told the sister, I said, my sister, please help me. Everybody is looking for me. Everybody is looking for me. I don't know what I've done. He, which crime have I committed that they are, said I want to destroy me? People are running after me. Him. And then the sister say, Sister Linda. So you call my name. He says, Sister Linda, you don't even know what you have done to the devil. I said, what have I done? He, what have I done? So I said, I'm not the only one that have revelation. I'm not the only one that have revelation. I start calling names. I say, Brother Sambo have revelation. Uh, Abraham Yakubu, Ezekiel Moses. I start calling, I say, Angelica Sambrano. People I don't even know, they have revelation. Why me? Why me? I was crying there. I said, why me? Anywhere I go, even now I've left my home. Even my husband said, I should run for my life. I'm not feeling comfortable. Anywhere I go, people will be pursuing me. And then the sister say, you are, you are just talking. You don't even know what you have done. What your testimony did to say that you don't even know. That's why you are talking. So as we are talking there, I saw Lucifer himself appear. He was wearing a Batman clothes and with horns, standing giant. But this time I was not afraid of him because usually Jesus have Jesus usually show me revelation about devil. I was not afraid of him. So he was standing there and he was looking at me. Me too was bold. I was looking at him. And he started to say, I will deal with you. He started to talk and I said, What have I done? What have I even done that you are even pursuing me? You are sending rumor all around me. Am I the only one that give revelation? Am I the only one? He said, yes. You don't even know what you people have done to me. You people have been destroying me. People have captured, put in my kingdom. Anytime I go, I come. I will meet them, disappear. They will just go. And when I go back to capture them, I will see light around them. And then he said, your own revelation caused many damage into my kingdom and it's still causing damage so that's why i'm pushing you as for those that you call their name that they give revelation they have taken their own hand to destroy the revelation that's why god is not concentrating to them it's you revelation god just put a power on this your revelation that's why god is still using this revelation to bring my people people that have captured people that have brainwashed them blind their eyes to this reality boy anywhere your revelation go is still pastors that have bound them put them under my control but this your revelation anywhere you go even if i send forces power to destroy this revelation the revelation will still that's why you must suffer but you should thank god he said you should thank god God, that God sent it to that man 
because I should have tear you like a chicken like this. I should have I, the way Satan was doing in time that he should have destroyed me. But God sent it to that man. That man, yeah, you call your husband. Go and tell him that it's just in my hand like a like a week, a month. People have been in this work for years. I've been capturing them. He is just a, a, a week in my hand. Yes. And he thought that he has a, a mouth. He thought that he has a mouth. It's God that is protecting people. If God give me a chance to handle the people, eh? I've been telling message that tell him that I'm not coming yet. It's only my agent. I'll be co I'll come, you know. He has preaching, telling people the truth, making people to come out. I will not allow anybody to destroy me and go scot free. And then he start talking. So when I call Brother Maisambo, I say, it's not only me. What about Brother Maisambo? What about this? What about that? And then he, he say, I saw Brother Maisambo. Yes, he saw reality. He saw Jesus told him. But he was, he, I put small fear in him. That he did not say everything. That he still carrying, he was still carrying the spirit of deeper life. This, but you, you say everything, everything, even mention people that have captured pastors. You, you must suffer for it. It's a colleague, it's a Moses, it's not righteous. It's a calling Abraham Yakubu, it's a calling, say, I've captured them, I've put them into unrighteousness, and anybody that is not righteous will not go to. It. To heaven. Their yeah, revelation is changing people. Oh. That's why me too have bring revelation to destroy so that God will just get angry and no me send revelation. God. I've been sending all kind of revelation now. Even revelation that is not inside, even what that is not inside the Bible, I will destroy all this revelation. I will send revelation and make people to hate revelation. Yes, see people think that you'll be open eyes of people of revelation. I'm going to send revelation that will make them to go back to, to hate revelation. I'll be sending you, know, I'll be dirty it for you people. It's not giving me the reason how they delete how they decrease their own message power it says for Samuel Tega I make them to love money sweetness in the money now they are fabricating stories creating stories now they are blaspheming against God what God did not say they say because now they want money I've put fame in the boy he wants his name to go he's, he's making story he's coming with, with story thing that he did not say he say, see it he'll be lying he'll be making it big they don't know they are playing with their soul I've Capture them and then he go to Samson Jude. He said, I put greatness in him. I all of them is money. He start talking. I said, God, hey, this he said, Is he can move this? Hey, he, he start talking, he start telling that bad people have captured him since all what he's talking is he's just talking. There's nothing in him, he's empty like carcass. He's still talking. He say Abraham Yakubu, I give him money. That their money is sweet in his mouth. He don't know that he has signed himself with, with me, the devil. I've been polluting and send great people to invite them, give them money. And anybody that eats my own will never go score free. And then he said, when he called upon my sample, my husband, boop. I said, huh? What is he going to say about that, my sample? So I was talking in the leader, you don't have anything to say about him. Yes, what did he want to say? He said, I put greatness in him. I put pride. I bring bad advice to him. Put putting pride in him. You are the one. Disobedient spirit. Fifth grade. And I put love of material things. I put worldly things in his mind. And I put him as on top. I make him to feel great. Yes. But the only thing that left for me to destroy him is when he, I put spirit in him and even brainwash him. For him to come out and he almost planned to come out if he should have leave that place and come out that he was talking about holiness bar movement that he was i put him i put the ego in him i put brainwash word in him that is great that is delaying his destiny that if he go out to do he don't know i was fooling but it but he should go tell him he should thank god though, that god make him to go back if he should have leave that place that god cage you people I should have tear him apart. I would destroy. I would not even give him a second. I would not destroy him and kill him. And go and suffer in hell. That is the same thing I was planning to do to you. I was planning to set you up. I was. I will send my demon agent from hell to marry you. I will destroy you. He was talking, but God, you people should hang up. But I'm not. I'm. I'm not finished. You. I will be coming for you. Yes, go and tell your husband that he's just small. He think he has more to be talking, expose it. Preaching, talk now. I've delete the Bible. There's no true Bible again. He's bringing the true Bible, telling people the truth, and making people to come back to their senses. For all you, you people, what you're doing to me, the damage you have been doing to me, all this Bible they have been reading, I blind their eyes, they have not been talking rubbish. But your husband is is cleaning the Bible again, made the Bible to come out again. 
Tell him he will not go scoff him. Tell him that his fathers that have been preacher before, I deal with them for many years, have been betting and I have closed them. You see him that's a weak hole in my hand that I will destroy him. I'm going to tell God to give me time for him. I'm coming. I'm coming. What do people think? Every day I go out and, and, and capture souls. When I come, people will not be disappearing in my kingdom. Anytime I go again, I come. People will not be disappearing in my kingdom. You have given them the power. And when I go again to capture them, I will not be able. So now I'm going to face the, 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 the head. When I cut off the head, I drink you people blood. I will see how the tail will shake. Hey, see what I did to Kumui. Yes, Kumui, Kumui, Kumui. He's just walking his face glowing. I make him to use his mouth to, to fight God. He don't even know. I'm the one causing all this. All my agents are there. That's why I've started to send them in this movement. I'm going to send more that will be members, be, be the leader. They will die your husband. I will destroy him. Yes, it's not me. Lucifer, I will do it. As for you, I still bet you. I will tear you apart. Yes, he was talking. And I said, you will not do us anything. I was molesting him. I said, see you. What, work? what can you do? Nothing. You cannot even shake us. This is just our beginning for you. We will destroy you. And God is going to... I said, from now, self. Satan, from now on, self. Anywhere I go, I'm going to... I, I will expose you more. I will destroy you. I will preach. In fact, before I used to say I'm tired, now I'm not tired. Everywhere they invite me, in the market or anywhere I go, I'm going to be exposing your message, your 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 secret. I'm going to remove all this reform from people. I'm going to destroy all these evil things. I'm going to tell people, put the fear of God in them. Yes, now it's a battle and a drove. My God is by my side, and you. I know your message will continue to destroy. That's why I was saying that your soul is what I want because you must suffer for all those people that you have taken away from my kingdom. And that your husband that is telling people, teaching them the truth, bringing them back to the fear of God. I will deal with you people. I will deal with you people. He was talking and was looking at him like this. I said, ah. So, because of the revelation, I said, you don't have anything to do to us. That was what me too told him. I said, you, you cannot do anything to us. You cannot. Nothing will happen to us. God will destroy you. And then he said, ah, you still have mouth. So he can talk. He, he, he say he just like this. Say, look, this small child. I'm talking, you are talking. Your great, great, great fathers, your, 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 your seniors, that they have seen this thing before you, have deal with their crush like this. You are still talking. You are still talking. So he just find a hammer. And he want to throw the hammer to me. And I noticed that he was sending the hammer, breaking something. And I shout, hallelujah. Hey, I told his sister, let's run. He is not able to get us. Let's run. And before this thing break, because when he was hitting the glass, we were here, the glass sound will make, bash, bash, I see if you want to break. And I said, let's run, let's run. Because if we, if we break that glass, he will come to us. And then all of a sudden, a light from heaven just captured him like a glue. He was not able to, sh to move here. He was just standing there like this. I had the voice of God. Everybody stands still. Only Christians, only one, holy Christians that don't put on jelly, you see them walking. As God starts to talk, some of them need to say, hallelujah, the voice of God, God is speaking. But most of these white people, and most of these black sinners, they put on jelly, just naked. They are not hearing, they were watching people that need that, looking at their and say, ah, why are they needing that raising? Who is God is speaking? They, they cannot hear. So they were walking. So I stand still and say, God is talking, so we are not running again. And I turn behind me to watch Satan. And I saw a light from heaven. You cannot see the end of the light coming straight on him like this. And he was there. And his conversation starts with him and, and God. Satan first replied, God. That he said, God, why are you doing this to me? Why are you giving this small brat to be talking to me like this? See, see what they are doing to me? These small children. Hey, he was crying. He was crying because the word I rendered to him and what I did to him, I don't know. He was crying that he was not able to handle me. He was crying. And then God laughed. God said, so it's painful. Ah, so you can feel it. That was how God was talking. He was laughing. And when he was laughing, I said, like rain want to come. The weather would dark like this would be shaking. He said, ah, so it's painful. Me that created you, you disobey me. You challenge me. You even want to be superior. So now you are feeling it. I just want you to know that what you did to me is what I'm doing to you. That disobedience is a sin. And I've not even started with you yet. I was sitting, where you left me, Lucifer, is where I'm still sitting now. With all your power, all your running, you have been running up and down. Doing this to people, doing that to people. Do you think that is hurting me? 
I'm just laughing because it looks like fun to me that somebody I give small power is using his power. It's just a fun. You will never know me. And it's start telling God, but God, how comes do you able to do this? Hey, people are coming out of my hand. I've given all my time, my years. I've been using my power to capture them. All of a sudden, they are just leaving. How do you do it? And God said, are you asking me? You say you are powerful. You're asking me. It's, and then God replying him and saying, even if I want those people that you capture, those agents, those demons that are under you to beat you, I'll have the power. But me, I don't have time for you now. But you are going to suffer for what you did. This is just a smoke you have seen. And I've not given them what it. I did it deliberately. Use children, small children in your hand. Yes, they will use, the, I'll give them the power to, to, to do this to you. And then he started talking about, the God started talking about that delica. There's, I know you feel it because it's a small child in your hand. It's a small child. You are senior for him. But I give him the power to destroy you. I give him the power to make you, to expose you so that you can feel all your work. You will just crumble in your hand. And then the, the lady standing to me, start telling me, do you hear? That you people don't even know what you do. It's just like Satan take all his money and build a city, a build a big mansion, like a rich man, take all his money and build a big house. And you people, a small child just come and break all the pillars and that man go down to not zero. That's why you see Satan is angry. And God is the one giving you people this power. So God start telling him, he say, he said, I want you to start feeling the pain before, because I'm coming soon. When I throw you to hell, don't think I'll only leave you there. I'll be sending eight angels that you are even senior for to come and be torturing you you must feel disobedient disobedience is a sin you must feel it you now you see how you have done to my children even when i'm talking see they're moving you close their memory you close their their love for me you take them away from me you will feel the pain you are going to feel the pain and then he was crying and telling god but you are forgiving them what about me he was crying and god said i will never forgive you I will never forgive you. You are the cause of them rebelling to me. I will never forgive you. I will deal with you. And then he will, and then God start to laugh. He said, why are you crying? So you can cry. So you can cry. Ha! So this is just, by the time I change my son position of preaching, he's just preaching and he's paying you, I will start giving him another thing. He will expose you and disgrace you and trip you naked. And then he was saying, huh? You cannot do this to me. You got these little children. You cannot do this to me. And then God said, yes, because you have tried all those ones I call. You have finished them. So that's why I go and fetch out these little ones. Because I know because of their littleness. And I give them great power. And I've made that you cannot go closer to them. I know it's going to pain you. And then God start to, God start to talk to him and tell him that. He said, I call my, my servant a winner's chapel leader. Oedipo. Yeah, he said, I call Oedipo. You go ahead, destroy him, put spirit of pride in him till he go to the extent to join cult. See that he's great. He put greatness in him. And anybody that feel great, that is the spirit of you. And I don't want anybody to feel great more than me because anybody that have the spirit of pride, spirit of my own, spirit of great, that will never come to my kingdom because if you come here, you will have the spirit of thinking of overthrowing me. I say that everybody to be submissive. So what you used to do, you put in him greatness. He see himself so great. And now you even lead him to the way of being a great man, how to become rich and pollute him. And he got it again to my servant, Adeboye. You have put Adeboye into darkness. You have brainwashed him. You make evil money to sweet in his mouth and start compromising. And now you go and capture Kumui again. Kumui don't even know me again when I'm talking. You make Kumui to argue me, but he's greater, to fight me. And then Satan said, God, this is just the beginning. I will make them to even this their own mouth. These people that you love, you say that they will not do anything. I will make I will, I will make them to use this mouth and say things that will that you will regret creating there. This I, is it not me? I will start doing it. This is their own mouth. I will make them to, to this is just the beginning of them turning their back for me. And God say, even if you did that one, it's for their own. It did not shake in for me. Is their own. Are you anything you are doing now? You are just adding to your punishment. All the things you are doing, making man to disobey me, you are just adding to your to your punishment. And then, and then God start to say, 
Kumu, even when he listened to my message, even when he had my message, for him to listen to the message, he did not. He started condemning, he started talking, and now he has diverted his going with his fake glory. And you are the cause of it, but all of them will suffer for it. And I said, say, hey, God, Pastor Kumui, and I was talking to the sister. I said, it's true what God is saying, no. Pastor Kumui is not even have time to listen to the message. Even if he listens to the message, he should listen to the message till the message finish. But he will not do it, he will just be condemning. I said, so God knows all what is going on. And then he even go again to Billy Akane, was my son. But he has taken one step back, now he has going to my servant. Why? Because he is preaching, but he don't know me. And anybody I don't know deep of me will not. Billy Akanem is compromising now. You are the cause of it. You put fear in him that if you continue to be total true, people will leave. You will suffer for this. You will suffer for this. And Satan say, say, God, <laughs> it's not me. Oh. It's them that cause all this thing that make me to be uh, homeless today. Me too, I'm going to make them to regret. I'm going to make the, them, you to regret what you created. them. And God say, yes. I know you are trying, but you don't have any power more than me. And then he say, so you thought that all these people that you have made them to turn against me will pain me. Satan, I've not cried one about all what you are doing. I'm just be laughing. I'm just be laughing. That's why what I did, you don't even know. I've raised another person. A young child to destroy you. And this one, you will not have access to him. You will try roaming around you, you will not have access to him. And then I asked God for a particular time that just give me this time. Is it not deeper life you, you, you thought that they were this? Is it not me? And God said, yes, I know you send thousands of demons in deeper life. Even the demons, they take higher position in deeper life. Depopulate the righteous one and increase the, the evil ones. And now, even when I'm looking down on deeper life, I've not even seen up to five lights that is shining. All the light on my children they have been dim. Even my even my son, eh, son that go down now to to, to servant Kumui, his life is dim. Is dim. It's just because I keep my promise to him, and he has been walking my way. But because he don't know my voice again, he will suffer for it. Yes, you have tried. He was telling me that, and God was laughing. He said, "You have tried." He said, "God, so this is not paining you." He said, "What?" He said, "It's not paining me." You are like a child to me. I run up and down, be doing this. It's not paining me. And then God started to talk. He said, "See what you are even doing now. All this revelation people you have been doing to them. I've been seeing how you are doing them." And then he said, "God." This revelation to you, you did. You shake me, you expose me, you destroy my, my plan. People have captured when I come back, they will leave. How do you do it? You see, they, you see what it, everything my life has gone drain. But one thing I know that no only me will go to that place. He start crying again. It's not only me will go to that place. They will follow me. I will go back and capture them. All those people that you send, I will torture them. I've started now. I've started. He start calling. See, Abraham Yakubu. It's out of your way now. It's not calling this brother, Ezekiel Moses. Uh -huh. See what I did to him now. Uh -huh. See. And then, what shocked me more when you called brother my sambo? And then he turned and talked to God and said, and then when he took up brother my sambo, he said, you are the one that protects him now. Because if you should have leave him, that Satan is telling God, that if you should have leave brother my sambo to come out of that place, that holy place that you protect them, you safe, you, you, you put fence around them. That place is the only what I want them to leave. Let them leave. You don't know what you did to even Sister Linda. You should have left them to, to come out. I should have made them this their mouth to curse you. And God said, yes, I know. You are the one that put pride into Sambo, that make him to feel that he's superior. And that is the spirit you have been used to destroy this, my children, that I've been sending. But what we pain them more is because they have seen it. And I will not exempt to put them there. But you, the, fa the founder of this spirit that you put it there, you know I hate pride. You put the sense in them that they are great. You put the sense in them that I'm the one, everybody. I give them purposely this message for them to bring souls to me. They don't even need to be great. They even need to be, be like tattered people, mad people for me. Because they have seen hell. They have seen me. They should be the one running to people. Go to the streets. Big people come, 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 come. But now you have put the spirit in them. They look great. They, even when they are walking among sinners, they look great. They walk like this.
that was not what I said. I give them this message so that they will go down to their knee and make people to work on it so that they will call people. But you put pride in there. See how you have finished Abraham Yakubu. You give him evil money, sweet money. Now he's out of my way. He's working in fake glory. And you are appearing to them, tell them evil message. See how you have done to this small boy. He was telling I was answering Jude. He is totally out of He put greatness in this boy that he will not submit. And me, God, me. I send my son, my son submit to me. Anybody that I send to this movement must submit under my son, Pastor Paul Rika. But you put greatness in them that they will not submit, they will feel good of themselves. But one thing I know, the message I give him, I gave them is winning so for me. It's their own life that I will sorry for because their own personal relationship with me has faded away. And then they say, uh-huh. But you protect this one that he was pointing to me. You protect should have left her alone like this. I would just destroy her like this. And God said, Yes, I knew you destroy her. That's why I did not allow it. But I'm going to use these people to destroy you. Destroy in the sense is that I will make you to cry. You will you you'll be restless. You'll be going up and down. And I'm going to show them more things, give them more power. How to bring you down. How to tell you that your power is nothing. I don't even need to fight you. I'm going to send my own creature. My own creature. These little children are the one. And then he was crying. And said, God, you will not do this to me. Okay, give me the power to tempt them. But you not allow. You just protect them. You just fence them like this. Give me the power. All of them that are inside there, they are saying they are standing, they are standing. Just give me the power to go inside and bring them out. I'm still waiting for them out. And just allow any one of them to come out. Let me let me deal with them. Let me deal with them. Not be you protect them. I saw but my son, but I'm still waiting for him. I'm still waiting for him. And I'm still sending that power to him. If he if he come out, <clears throat> what are we deal with him, eh? You will angry with him. And then God was just looking like this and laugh. And say you will not do anything to anybody I don't want you to touch. These are my people that have raised. And this sister closer to me tapped me and started talking. That mommy. That sister Linda, hmm. God really chose you people. You people don't even know. Even your husband don't know. I have a dream of your husband. I've not seen your husband yet. Though. In this dream, I saw me, because I was praying to God, that God show me the man of God for our days. Show me the man of God that will lead me because I've seen many evil pastors. And I saw in this revelation, I saw millions of pastors standing. And this great one, they were standing before. This big pastor that had big name, TB Joshua, Pastor Cleet, all these, they were standing in front. And I saw another pastor, according to their name, Tri a Nation Country. This a... But God said, the light that you will see in the head of anybody is the person that I'm the one choosing him for this revelation, for this, for this end time. And I saw the light back on the person I don't even see. So I start running in the midst of this pastor. I start clearing them like I'm swimming. I start clearing and doing my hand like this to clear the pastor to see where the light go. And I go back, down, down, down. I saw your, your husband. And when I saw Pastor Porika, even me was judged and said, eh, we disabled to breathe the world. God, why do you choose him? Because the way I was seeing him, he was not looking that great way, that pastor that you can say, ah, this. He was looking common like this. And I said, ah, God, are you sure the light don't miss any of these people? He said, God said, this is who I choose. And then he started to say, ah, God, this man, he said, yes, is the one I choose. And he's going to overshadow all this one. I don't look for greatness. I look for humility. I look for a person I have pure heart. These are all self-seekers. These are all deceivers. And that's why I choose him. And you see him is back. I choose behind. The first shall be the last. The last shall be the first. I'm bringing him from behind to, to front. And then the lady said, but where has he been? We don't heard about him. Where has he been? And then God told her that I was preparing him. So she said she wake up. So she started telling me. And I said, but see, these white people. They don't know Christ. We have been trying to reach the know. And then the lady told me that, Sister, Sister Lena, if you see the, the, the white people God has prepared for you people to work with, every day they will go and pray. God himself has told them about your husband, but they don't see, they have not seen him in life yet. 
God showed them your husband in the revelation. And these white people, they are waiting for this Messiah. Because God told them that I'm going to send the Messiah for your generation. That if you listen to him and anybody that follow him is the one that is going to carry you. And I will protect the people. So they have been praying that God sent. And God have told them that I've sent the person. And when they asked the Lord Jesus, that why? Where has the person been? Is he a child? I say no. I've been training him. He was in training. That time your husband was in training. That is the time God revealed to the day. And now when they pray again, God told them that he has come out of training. I've given him a word that he's coming and he will soon locate you people. So now they are praying for him to come to their side. And I said, please give me the name of this country. So that I'll go and tell daddy. So that we'll go there before the people be wasting their time praying for us. This please give me the name of the country. So the sister was looking for pen to write the name of the country that these white people say, Plenty whites are waiting for us. That we should not bother about whites. That God has chosen these old white people that will work us. And when those white people join us, you will see how the work will spread. Both black and white will start raising souls. And that time, it will not be long again. Jesus will come. And I say, eh. So the sister was looking for Biro to give me the name of the country. And I say, I'm going now. Because God has arrested Sita for me. I'm going back home. Nobody will arrest me again. So I woke up. And I explained to Daddy. Thank you, Lord. We bless you for this revelation. We give you praise. We give you glory. Lord Jesus, we thank you for choosing us for this same time. We thank you for protecting us. Lord, may your will continue to be in our life. May you continue to guide us and protect us, O oh Lord. Father, use me more. As you said, my body is not going to be my body. Indeed, you are fulfilling it. Jesus, I love you. I appreciate you. Father, open doors for these white people that you say we are going to meet them. Thank you for Pastor Paul Rica giving more grace. And I pray that Lord, give us more power and more grace of your word that Satan will regret why he disobey you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.